Eckhart von Achim, also popularly known as Meister Eckhart. He was born in 1260 in the province of Thuringia in Germany, also known as the home province of Martin Luther. His early life has few written resources, but he appears to have had a university education in Cologne under Albert the Great. He joined the Dominican order and became a lecturer at a Dominican convent in Saint Jacques in Paris. Little is known about his family except that he was born to noble landowners. He was considered a successful administrator, but his greatest passion was preaching to the masses. He returned to his birthplace and was appointed to the newly founded province of Saxony and served the office until 1306. In 1307, he was administered to the province of Bohemia, where he served for four years until he was invited back to teach in Paris in May of 1311. This was yet another confirmation of Eckhart's reputation. It was a rare privilege for foreigners to be twice invited back to Paris to teach, and this accomplishment gave him the title Meister, which is from the Latin magister, meaning master or teacher. In Paris, Eckhart was often involved in heated religious debates with members of the Franciscan order. After serving in Paris for three more years, Eckhart moved to Strasbourg and served as an active preacher for Dominican communities for the following eight years. And in 1323, Eckhart settled back in Cologne and started teaching at the Stadium General. During this time, he was accused of heresy by the Archbishop Hermann von Virenberg. However, Nicholas of Strasbourg, who was the temporary leader of the Dominican monasteries in Germany, exonerated the charges, but after a long interrogation and protest, he was excommunicated from the church by the bull of John XXII on March 27th of 1329. Eckhart's major contributions include defining the divinity of the believing man and that their souls are joined with the Lord's. He was also known for his selfless services while having a receptive mind and acknowledging the importance of occasional detachment from worldly distractions. Eckhart's most impactful contribution would be his teaching of God's omnipresence. Eckhart believed that God was present in all living things, though he differentiated between the absolute God, which was beyond all form, and the manifestation of God in the world. When he was deemed a heretic to a list of errors, he replied by publishing a Latin defense and then asked to be transferred to the Pope's court in Avignon. The Pope described only some of Eckhart's teaching as heretical. Well, this man has a history of great accomplishments, but maybe his teachings were slightly too profound for the people in his day and age. In today's church, Eckhart von Hakim may not have been deemed a heretic, but we can only remember the feats of this passionate follower of our Lord. Well, thank you for watching.